this pretty good too. How's it going today everyone? Creek Crawler here, Southeast Ohio, back on the Hocking River. Just completed the shrimp challenge with the Nika shrimp. Had a good time, caught eight species of fish on the shrimp here in Ohio. It's pretty awesome. But today's goal and objective is top water. It's the middle of the summer. Um, the bite's tough, but in these cooler running rivers, you can find a good top water bite even during the day. The key is to find shady banks, large structure, rocks, trees, stuff like that. Get as close as possible. Casting accuracy is highly key in these situations in the middle of the summer. So you want to target that structure. You want to find shade. I'm gonna be walk. I'm gonna be walking a little. Uh, I'll throw probably the Berkeley Popper, and I'll also be throwing the little Mega Bass uh, Dog X Dog or Dog X, something like that. It's a little walking bait. Awesome natural presentation. It's only like three and an eighth inches long, so it's a small presentation, very finesse. So let's go down here on the Hawking River, see if we can't catch some smallmouth, spotted bass, largemouth bass today on top water. Let's go. Before we get started, do my gear check like always. Got my 610 medium, extra fast action on a 2500 Daiwa Kage, 10 pound braid, got a 12 pound fluorocarbon vanish leader, and this is the little uh, walking bait. The Dog X Junior is what it's called. Look how natural of a presentation that looks. Isn't that awesome? Looks like a little minnow, something that's walking across the water injured. Got I tied it on with a rapala knot, which I don't have a lot of faith in my rapala knots. But you, that's really key when you're walking baits. You want that bait to move nice and freely so it makes a little loop in the line. Gives it some extra free space to move around. Move a little bit more naturally. So hopefully we can get some on this today. The water tent feels great. It's probably in the 70s and a cool thing about today is i've never come down here this is a new stretch of the hawking river that i've never fished in before and decided just to go do a little creek wade with some topwater baits see what we can get into but the water feels great i'm coming up on deep water here i don't know how much farther i can get past this hopefully i can walk past it but Good deep water we got deep water we got shady banks we got overhanging trees we got big structure to the left sandbar to the right hopefully i can walk past this a little. <laughs> first fish of the day a little bluegill there you go buddy There we go. Yeah, it's a good one too. It's a nice one. I knew I should have brought my net today. Oh yeah, every bit, yeah. Oh, yeah. The chubby little guy. <laughs> oh yeah, he's probably over he's over a pound. It's a nice fish right there. Oh yeah. There you go, buddy. There we go. Right in these veins of these rocks. Come here, buddy. Heck yeah. Chill out. Not so small either. He absolutely crushed it. Nice little chunker, put up a good fight. We're in only like six inches of water and there's this little deep vein right here in these rocks. Sure enough, he came up and hammered it. There you go, buddy. 
very deep cut along this bank. Oh, there we go. Hooked up again. Nice fish, nice fish. Come here, buddy. Oh, it's kind of hooked weird. Here we go. They're choking this thing today. It's a nice fish. 12 inch or so. You can't beat middle of the summer. It's approaching evening. Well, it's only six o'clock, but still got a few hours left and they're hammering the walking bait and it's fun watching them blow up on it. There you go, buddy. <laughs> did you see that as soon as it hit the water back there jeez holy smokes all right we move downstream a little bit Let's see if we can't pick up a smallie down here just got done raining a little bit i was going to call it quits but it kind of went past us we might pick something else up before it gets too dark Hooked up. Feels pretty good too. Nice smolly, nice smolly. I knew there'd be one in this log jam over here. Here we go, right under the bridge. It's a good blow up. Solid one pounder. One in, a little bit over maybe. It's a thick one. There you go, buddy. He's right underneath it. <laughs> well, Largy, he was super angry. See, most of the time they get both these hooks with this lure, how it sits in the water. So my hookup ratio is pretty good. A little large mouth. There you go, buddy. You hit it five times. All right, everyone, I'm gonna call it quits before the storm gets here. Had an awesome time here in the Hocking River, top water, fishing in the summertime. I don't care if you're catching 10 inches or 18 inches, they all blow up with the same aggression, no matter if it's a small fish or a big fish, and I absolutely love it. I hope you enjoyed the action. I pretty much just threw the little um, Dog Junior, Dog X Junior from Mega Bass today, pitching deep holes in the waterfalls. I fished downstream about a quarter mile, and then I went above the bridge here in Falls Mill in Logan, a few hundred yards and I had to kind of stop because I was getting sketchy where I was walking and I don't want to break my ankle and ruin my fishing for the summer. So if you enjoyed the action, hit the like button down below, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys out in the water. Let's go!